Oh, we have a call. I wonder if this is the uh it could be the, the, lawyer, the, the, the lawyer was going to call at get, 515. The, or... Guess that you were lining up. Yeah, maybe that's who it is. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's on the line? Uh, this is uh, EDG. This is even better than a, 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 the lawyer. <laughs> I wasn't going to call up, but you were talking about getting rid of furniture, and this is an old Holly story. <laughs> we were trying to get rid of some furniture, and we decided to put it in the, in the uh, back of the car, and and, and and then we finally got it to the side of the road, and it was a nightmare to get it there because it was really heavy. Mm-hmm. And we put a sign on it says free. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Yeah. Somebody took it. Oh. It weighed over 100 pounds. We were trying to get it down the street where we were living in a, in a mobile park. And believe me, it was a nightmare to get it down there. Wait but a it second. It was worth it because we got rid of it. You lived in a trailer park? We did. No wow. way. Wow. You had a charm yeah. to life. Wow. This is more of an anecdote than a story. Her mother, her mother was the one that paid most of the bills because, God, me and Holly didn't have any money. Oh, and is that, the time we were out of work, is know, that why you left her? We only survived so long, as you all know, uh, everybody in, this, in the real world, on love. Right. Last so long. Right. Sometimes, no, love can last forever, man. Yeah, what there's about another, that? That's uh, another reason. That Dave Ramsey would say the money guru, that's one of the major arguments in marriage is, is where's the money coming from? Yeah. And if it comes from somebody else besides you and your wife, like your mother-in-law, that causes many, many nightmares. Or Uncle Al, until you lose a sweater, of course. Yeah, no, he didn't, it wasn't many that come from Uncle Al. It came from my folks, too, and they gave us $1,000, and that, that was a nightmare, too. So, Oh, my goodness. Oh, that could be a lesson to people. If you're going to get married in the near future, make sure you have a little bit of cash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes you sense. Can only survive so long on love. <laughs> oh, I get it. He's giving love advice. This right. is Easy G just giving love advice That's a half right. hour after he left. So if you're yeah, going to get married to my, out there, to everybody out there in the world, yes, <laughs> you, you got to have a little bit of cash <laughs> on reserves before you get married. Make sure, make sure that you, you do that. That's my <laughs> advice of the day. I agree, Easy G. <laughs> can yeah. I ask Easy G a question? Easy is G, it about you, love? You and I go to the congregate. One, one too many arguments over the years with me and Holly. Where, where, where's the next money coming from to pay this bill and pay that bill? He's a lot oh like God. Dave Ridley, right? He doesn't listen to the show. What's going it caused, on? It caused a lot of arguments. Right. Hey, uh, Easy G, you and I go to the congregational church when I go, and I think you were an ex-Catholic. What's the difference between the Catholic Bible and the, the Bible we have over at the uh, congregational church? Which I don't well, know very well. A lot myself. of things they don't talk about Mary. That's for sure. Not that often in the Bible. I don't think they talk about Mary that often over at the Congregational Church at all. No, I mean in the Bible. You know, we were talking. Oh, yeah, about, you I'm not interrupted really a big about Bible thumper, but the, I know they don't talk about Mary at the first Congregational Church. Mary, or, or Mary. Church I go. <laughs> Is it verboten? Or You're the, not uh, supposed to talk about Mary. The, uh, the, I'm thinking uh, of Neil the, uh, Diamond, uh, Jerry, Jerry. Church, they don't talk about Mary that often at all. Wow. That's one of the first things I bought that single like when I was in 1970. That's kind of the difference there, I guess. Mary's a pretty uh, important character in the whole story, it seems to me. Yeah, well, they kind of don't talk about her, I guess. Well, they reason, should. But I still like to go. They're you, sexist. You should bring her up sometime. Yeah, be like, why don't we talk about Mary? My, my friends my friend still kind of give me a hard time. Say, oh, can we don't go to the Catholic Church in the morning? So I still go occasionally. They but. talk about Mary. Oh, you should you, you should go all the time. And I said, well, uh, that's not the kind of way the, the way I go the way I roll. I kind of go where the spirit leads me. Oh, well, that could be dangerous. You, you go to where whoever's <laughs> having the best pork and beans dinner in their basement. That's actually smart. That's a good well, idea. There you go. I got. I, I got. I, I, I don't know if it's one hundred percent agree with me, but it's funny you bring up food. Because we have a thing out called well, the first church we'll tell for meal train, to, no, and they gave me this pork, pork dinner. Uh, I tell you, boy, oh, was that I good. Know I don't know if it's necessarily 100 percent agree with me. There's a lot of media attention, but boy, this, it tasted good. This is going mm. to be something a big. Mm. I, I, are you still there, Easy They gave me a couple Easy muffins, G? and I got cookies. And Easy I got G, some what soup. about Bibles? Well, the cookies and soup I left downstairs on the table downstairs. Do you think there should be a Bible at City Hall? Big one. So somebody grabbed it. So. I mean, a really. Big I took what Bible. I wanted. I gave the rest to whoever whoever wanted it in the building. So, a cookie anyway, or a Bible. So I got a nice. Uh, I got a nice thank you card for the lady that gave me the food because the, uh, the they they the they, they, do, they do that and it's all homemade. So as you, as you all know, it's nothing better than Loaves homemade Loaves and fishes, right? Are you one of those people that just can take a few cookies and just multiply them for the masses because they need you down at the food pantry? Oh, he he's allergic to raw meat. So if anybody You're, ever asks you, uh, uh, John, there, if you want some uh, food from the meal train, 
Why I would, would I want to? Yeah. <laughs> the meal train? <laughs> the meal train. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have any beer? Anchor steam beer? I haven't had any yeah, in a while. The older ladies are always tired. They make food at their house and they, and they give out to who they desire. Who is so they, they desire? Is that the way hey, it's to the Are, you, are, are they going to yeah. seduce me? So if they don't <laughs> desire, <laughs> if they don't desire, if well, they no, don't. On that note, I'm going to have my dinner now. So have a good rest of your show. <laughs> the dinner Thanks, he Eric. didn't have that. Uh... Oh. I don't even know what he's having for dinner. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, this is confusing. Jodo McGinnis says, uh, if you don't say the pledge, you're a commie.